Hey everyone, this is Finn Vince here. I'm back at it again, ball digging. Uh, my last video I posted had a great response, and I want to thank everyone uh, who liked my video and commented and all things like that. Um, let's see what we can do today. Hoping to get some good stuff. Top the last uh, last hunt. So you know I'm here. I got my uh, my nice dunks water, staying hydrated. Um, I'm in the spot, and uh, I found. I mean, this is kind of weird. I can't, I come here and I see this black box, right? And inside this random black box that I've never seen before is all the junk bottles that I left. So that means someone was snooping around. Um, a little, it's kind of like, it's kind of sketchy. Um, you know, too bad that they're stuck with the, uh, the, the junk bottles. <laughs> Glad I didn't leave anything good here. So I'm just gonna probably, uh, like I'm, I don't know. I got eyes watching me, it's a little suspicious. But in the hole, we got some bottles just to cut right to the chase. Um, we got one right here, and I'm gonna pull it for for all you guys. Let's see what we got. Da, da, da. It is um, just a blank uh, cork top. It's nice, nice stuff. Gotta love it. Um, we got another little guy right here. Oh, hey, we got some embossing, and it's just a um, Foss's uh, liquid fruit flavoring. Pretty common. Um, nice uh, machine-made bottle. Nice 1920s. Um, and we got something else in the hole. It's uh, down there. Let me see where to go. Okay, hold on. Something right here. Broken milk. That's heartbreaking. And we got this little metal thing right here. Let's see what this is. Interesting. Um, found this bottle stopper. Nice stuff. Um, get this out of here. All right. All right, guys. So I'm digging here, and something just fell up from the top of the hole. Um, so it's just a broken teacup. But then there's something else that looks pretty interesting. What the heck is this? Ooh. No idea what this is. Probably, um, something that would hold some type of toilet tree or something. I'll clean it up and, uh, see, see what it, you know, try to figure it out. Alright, that's a cool find. Alright guys, I hit a very nice spot in the hole. Um, things are kind of just falling out. We got some nice pharmacy bottles here. And then, nice little like nail polish. Um, those kind of just all fell out on me. Um, see if you can uh, spot something that kind of doesn't match. Oh yeah, look at that. The seat, oh my gosh. That's so cool. Nice cat's eye uh, yellow marble there foggy that's really nice fun fun best find so far now um here we have some nice just a blank pharmacy bottle um what else we got Almond jar. Got things kind of pouring out on me. I love it. Let's see. Um, mason jar lid. Let's see. Ooh. We got a bottom of a bottle right there. It's kind of sunny. I can't really see what I'm filming right now because the sun's in my eyes but uh, so please excuse the uh, camera uh, another mason jar lid ooh I like these ones all right got something in the hole I'm gonna pull this one bottle up 
I'm very excited. Almost, guys. Bear with me here. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that's very cool. Nice little cap bottle right there. Alright guys, it's ready to pull. Let's see what we got. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Look at this. Oh my gosh! Wow, I was not expecting this. This is an old one. This is just a totally different era of everything else I've found here. Um, looks to be like that. It's very cool. It says um, Whitmore, Boston, USA. It's a nice cork top and it still has a cork inside. Um, Alright. Awesome. Oh my gosh, it looks like... The, I think these are the instructions that come with it. They're on every bottle. All right, that's so cool, I'll keep digging. All right guys, we got a nice ball in the hole, but um, first, um, look at this. It's another marble, it's, um, it's nice clay marble. I was literally just thinking about, oh wow, I haven't found one in a while, but look at that beauty. Um, nice little Christmas light. All right, get the in the bag, and bottle right here. Just a uh, blank medicine bottle. Um, but over here, you know, I thought I'd bring you guys along. I hit a really rusty, um, rusty patch. Some cool things are coming out. Um, look at that. I wonder what these go to. Looks like a handle of some, some sort. Um, let's see. All right, guys. So I got a nice another uh, clay marble. And in the hole we have two bottles, one right there, and one right there. And honestly, they look pretty similar. Um, but here, let's give them a pull. All right. All right. Oh my gosh! What? Oh my. Goodness, this is literally okay. This is the best ball I think I've found yet, because this is a lot of this stuff is 18 uh, is a 1920s, but this is a blown bottle. Um, old looks like an old chemist. Oh my goodness! Wow, it says uh, it's a druggist bottle. It literally says it on there. I'll clean it up later. It's got a little chip in the top. But wow, that's like an early, that's an early bottle right there. That's awesome. I'm hearing like an old part of that. Um, put that in my little baggie. And hey, this one looks to be the same size. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. What? This is literally like, this is a, Totally different brand. Oh my goodness. This one's a screw cap. Wow, that that was a great little double in the hole. Um, I'll clean it up and read it later, but um, wow. All right guys, two more bottles in the hole. You know, like this. All right, we got one right here. Pull it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at that. It's a Watkins bottle. Um, the brand is pretty common. It's a screw cap, so it's not the best, but yeah, can't wait to clean that up. And then we have one at the bottom down here. And it's just a Heinz ketchup bottle. All right. All right, guys, we got some a couple bottles peeking out of the hole right there. All right, let's pull them out. Ooh, look at that beautiful um, inkwell bottle. It's, uh, I think, a uh, diamond ink. Pretty nice. And so 
something else in here. Just a blank, uh, I think it's a condiment bottle. I found these before. Um, so, I got those out of the way. Check this out. Oh, I also found this salt shaker. <clears throat> Alright guys, I got some really, something really interesting that just came out of the hole. First, look at that little guy. I don't know what that is. But it looks like it's important. And then, check this out. What the heck is this? I have no idea. And there's another piece to it. I don't, I've literally never found anything like this before, but I'm super excited to, uh, to clean up and try to figure it out. All right. All right, guys, so I'm back from the bottle dump, and I'm here in my backyard. Um, I decided to clean, I got a lot of stuff, which was awesome, so I decided to clean them all in the backyard. Um, I'm not going to take everything inside, just, uh, some you know all the you know the best things I'll take inside to the the trophy case um, but yeah here we are um, everything's you know I'm st as I said I'm still waiting on my tools so I can get a full clean cleansing but I'm just gonna go over all the bottles real quickly uh, it was a very great day um, so first I just I'm very excited about one specific thing and it's down here you guys saw me find this. Um, I had no idea what it was. And, um, it, you know, it looks incomplete. Um, you can try to guess what this is right now if you want. But I have no idea. And, you know, some could view it as junk. But there's a patent date on it. And it's um, October 27th, 1875. So, um, when you guys don't know what something is look at the patent date and then it will come up and it'll tell you exactly what it is and i am so excited because this is a hendrix company bird feeder and this would go on a bird cage and you go in it like that and the you know the bird would drink from there and that to me is so cool i'm so happy i found that um and i was able to identify it and this is also a bird feeder right here um, and it's got some cool writing on it, so that's so cool. Um, we have a nice bottle stopper here, which you go inside of a bottle. Three nice marbles here. We got two clay, which are always awesome to find, and this beautiful um, yellow cat's eye um, glass marble, and it's very nice. Has a foggy look to it. The foggier, the better, because it um, it means it's older. You don't want to get those really clear ones. Um, this is an old piece to a pen. Nice little fancy ink pen. Um, here we have just a nice, uh, nice uh, canvas bottle. It's actually hand blown, so this is about early 1900s. Um, a Mick a Mickinar pharmacist bottle. Um, just a Philadelphia, a uh, little, um, uh, it's a Hans Bros. Um, I found these before, never really, uh, you know, never really caught my attention too much, but, um, it's a pretty nice bottle. So here we got a Watkins Perfumer bottle. Uh, Watkins is just a home goods, um, company. Uh, you know, it made medicine, it made perfumes, um, it made toiletries. And you know, nice screw cap, uh, machine made. Um, everything here is about 1920. So, um, and here we have a Everett and Bannon uh, Province, uh, Rhode Island bottle. Uh, this was an old shoe blacking bottle. It's another screw cap. Uh, here we have a Foss um, liquid fruit flavors Portland, Maine bottle. Um, Foss was yeah, it would make extracts of all certain flavors. It was from about the 1800s to the, it stopped making them in the 1930s. So it says full strength on one side and standard quality on the other. Um, pretty common to me. Uh, here we have a Whitmore Boston bottle. Um, this is a really nice bottle. I've never found this before. Uh, it's a shoe polish bottle. There's another. And it's still got the cork inside. Um, pretty nice. 
and then we have several um, pharmacist little medicine bottles here here all on unembossed there um, this is really beautiful hand blown um, very light seam on it um, root beer bottle I know it's a root beer bottle because it says root on the bottom um, beautiful color I can't wait to clean that up get my tools and put that on the windowsill inside uh, look at that beautiful blob top um, we have this nice little uh, you know spoon here for serving soup or something uh, on it it says extra coin silver plate very cool there's no company on there I don't know if that's a company it probably is um, here we have a citric uh, magnesia bottle it says dose adult one half to one bottle as desired children in proportion to age and this is an old laxative bottle um, found those before um, and then we have a silphal nathal bottle which is you know it's also a pretty common bottle uh, it was mass produced um, it's machine made and also blown uh, the the top there the seam stops around right there um, this was uh, I, I know it's a it's a germ killer and um, it's like a, I've seen old ads for it and you would gargle it in your throat and um, to you know kill germs it's kinda like a mouthwash um, then we have just a clear medicine bottle um, I would guess um, this little this is a really cool bottle um, no idea what that it would probably be um, some type of uh, aftershave or perfume yeah probably perfume because of the style and it still has a cork in it I'm just gonna take that one inside um, then we have a nice inkwell this is actually one of the nicest inkwells I've ever found this is very old it's blown it's probably about 1890s um, so actually depending on the bottom it's probably around like 1910 um, very nice bottle uh, it says on it can't really read it too clearly um, I forgot to check this out earlier but um, yeah it's just an inkwell bottle then we have this nice little salt shaker it's cute it's um you know mid 20s um, this Sawyer's crystal bluing bottle which was um they would do it for laundry it would weigh in clothes and it has a cap on it it's not a cork top it's a cap top um, beautiful bottle it's gonna look really nice cleaned up pretty common to me um, a bunch of mason jar lids that would go on um, and that's most of things but I'm gonna save the best for last and that would be this awesome 1890s uh, so what it says is it says um, you're safe you are safe when you buy a Riker Jane's drugstores when you buy at Riker Jane's uh, drugstores <sighs> that to me is so awesome look at the seam on that look at that nice blown bottle it has a little you know a little nick in the top there but uh it's totally fine um that's the find of the day everyone uh can't wait to put that in the trophy case looks awesome um and so i think that's basically everything oh well here's just another blank condiment bottle but guys check this out Monarch tomato ketchup. Look at that. That has almost a complete label on it. Um, obviously, it's self explanatory. It's a ketchup bottle. And the cool thing is that they still make this brand today. Um, and yeah, I guess it's, you know, it wasn't as popular as like Heinz or anything, but that's really cool. Um, it says, uh, established in 1855 so that's really cool and last but not least we have this little cute pair of doll feet i love finding things like that um but guys that's it for today uh thank you everyone for watching um appreciate everyone's support please you know like my video comment feel free to comment um i'll be hopefully making another video soon 
And yeah, guys, have a great day and uh, everyone be safe.